Well, hello. I'm back. Of course, y'all already know what's about to go down in this video. I'm very excited. If you know me, I've been wanting this for a long time. So like I said in my last gardening video, I kind of assumed that like, I mean, I don't know, you know, my channel isn't necessarily for gardeners. And so I've been kind of explaining, not too much, but I've been explaining what I've been doing. So last time you guys saw me plant my seeds, I did all of my seed sowing on camera. Well, for the most part, I sped up the rest and like, you know, did all that. But <laughs> I sowed seeds and I set it up. And um, I also, will include if I didn't already at the beginning of the video I will include like the progress pictures I did get sprouts very quickly you can also see that in the thumbnail of that video I might have even put it at the end but nonetheless they are crazy now let's take a look at our little station this is my setup small apartment vibes I got um oh I had it's over here now but I also have some plants that I already transplanted over there but these are the seedlings that you guys last saw me do those plants came out of there um so yeah these are the only seedlings I've done and as you can see guys they have grown grown like grown so much and it's honestly to the point where it's too much so like a lot of them if you can see are like leaning um they're in need of support very badly for those who don't know you obviously can't grow plants in these little bitty little pods for forever um they outgrow them especially once they start to get height on them because you know the weight of the plant starts to um outweigh the support that it has from the bottom so today we are going to transplant and um also these plants need more nutrients from more soil i think we're gonna do that i have with me oh three right now i have more of these but i have three buckets that i'm gonna transplant them in just like the white one that you saw the other one was in um these have this label on there if you can see they say food grade you know that's i believe that's important but also i don't know what'll happen if you just use any bucket i mean i can guess you know i know that it's obviously could be damaged by chemicals or toxins or whatever um but it depends on the bucket i'm sure it depends on the material you know it's hard to say it depends on the paint to be safe so i just went i've had these for a while now because again if you know you know i've been trying to do this for a while but i just went to home depot and got some of these food grade buckets my guess is that these don't have any harmful chemicals in the paint or any thing on them any sprays materials that could harm your plants your vegetables your edibles not those kind of edibles your edible fruits and veggies. Step one is fill them up with soil. So in this bucket that I just pushed up here, I have compost and in this bag, I know it's weird, it's in a trash bag. Again, if, if this is ghetto to you, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you see my last video, you know that we just try and get it how we live. In this bag is just regular potting soil that I bought. I'm gonna do a mix of both so that, you know, my plants can have that good soil mix of nutrients. So guys, we ran into a little problem. I'm laughing, chuckling, cause it's, what can you do but laugh? But also I'm a little frustrated. You know, you just gotta guard with gardening, you gotta roll with the punches. If you guys saw, I, um, I you might've saw the clip, like I held up a little stick that was in that bucket of compost. I don't know why I did air quotes. It is compost, but it's not quite usable for me. The reasons why is because of um, A, bugs, and B, it has, like a ton of like big pieces in it, leaves, sticks, acorns, rocks, cardboard, like that that thing wasn't even a stick, it was like a piece of wood from something. <laughs> to explain, I got that compost from somebody, which I'm very appreciative of them for, but you know, they have a house <laughs> and it came from, they came from their like backyard, I think, I'm pretty sure, um, wherever the compost pile is outside their house. And so not only is it full of bugs gardening inside, as you guys know, 
Um, and so I don't want bug problems. I don't want to invite that in for my plants or for my home, <laughs> you know. I really would have liked to have like clean soil, clean compost. But then also um, it's not sifted. I don't really know all the research behind this either, but for the most part when I, I mean, of course it comes like without, you know, big chunks in it when you buy it. But for the most part, when I see people and they compost it, before they use it, they um, they sift it and they're like a sifter or a net or something to catch all the big pieces that aren't really broken down. My guess is that that does a lot of things, but I'm sure that it, um, it'll make it a lot easier to work with. That's a big one for me. And it'll just allow the plants more breathing room. They can spread their roots wherever they want. They don't have to worry about running into big blockages, a big leaf when they're trying to sink their roots down into the dirt. So I already started putting it in one of my buckets, but I think I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> and uh, you know, see where it goes. It could be a test, but I mean, thankfully, you know, when you buy potting soil, it does come with some nutrients in it. I also have my um, wonderful worm bin, but if you didn't know, I'm vermicomposting, which is another word for worm composting. They will produce compost or like a great, you know, fertilizer, but it, they're not there yet. So I need something to give my plants food in the meantime. I don't know, we'll see if the soil that I bought, like a potting soil can hold up on its own, but in a few days, you know, you watch your plants, you look at them, you see how they're doing. If it looks like they uh, are in need, we just go make a trip. <laughs> we go make a trip to, you know, Home Depot, wherever. Or maybe I'll look around the neighborhood, Facebook marketplace for some cheap compost. Basically, I'll find a solution if what I have doesn't work. I'm gonna fill the buckets up with um, the potting soil completely and then we'll be on step two. <laughs> yeah. Did y'all see that? Y'all were like caught me on camera jumping, scared. Now that I know that there's bugs in that bucket, I'm scared that they like, are just crawling around. I don't like bugs. I need to get over myself though. I'm trying to become one with the earth, be a gardener. Literally though, if Winston, if my husband, if he uh, starts to see bugs around and he finds out that they came from the compost, he did like dead serious gonna be like, that's why you shouldn't be gardening here anyway. And I'll be like, buy me 15 acres then. I'm kidding, he wouldn't say that, but he probably would make a joke and I would make a joke of that nature. Oh my God, no. Well, now I'm just mixing it up with the potting soil. Y'all are witnessing me having a uh, crisis in real time. I'm a big fan of um, how bugs can help like my ecosystem. But again, I'm inside, so I just wanna avoid certain problems. But this bucket is already done, so I don't know. Let's hope these aren't the kind of bugs that will harm or hurt my plant. So, I also ran out of potting soil. Um, what I think I'm gonna do in the meantime, because I really wanna get some plants transplanted tonight, is use seed starting soil. Dirt is dirt. I know that they are uh, comprised of different elements, different things, different materials, but I think that it'll be okay because those pots are mostly potting soil. Exhibit number 5,000 of um, me running into problems in real life on camera. I kind of like that though, because y'all know I'm all about transparency and especially when it comes to like gardening, anything to do with nature, you're not gonna be able to control everything at, at any point. <laughs> especially if you're working with land. When you're inside, actually, I actually have more control because right, I can control the sun. I can control how much water, rain water they get. Um, I mean, it's much easier to, but yeah, you're still going into problems and so um, troubleshooting. Gotta worry about compost. I'm worried about my plants having enough nutrients um and just having enough cert what? soil <laughs> i said cert cross between dirt and soil ah you know when your brain think of those two words at one time and then you're all like, i need soil dirt compost that good stuff and then i think i'll be good mm. gentle
All right, y'all, so that was quite the um, something, quite the challenge, but you know, it's not as bad as it could be. I'm gonna do the other bucket off camera because again, that was a lot and recording just give it in a buck. Love y'all, but like, yeah, that makes it even harder. <laughs> I will keep you guys updated on um, the process, of course, and how they're coming along. Glad you guys got to see up until this point. As hard as it, I think, will be, you know, getting these plants to bear fruit inside, I'm just ready because I feel like it'll all be worth it. I talked a little bit about, you know, how special gardening is to me in several videos, actually, my goals video and my last gardening video. Even through all the challenges, I just think it'll be so worth it once I can actually just have fresh, organic food in my kitchen. I think I can do it. So it'll just take work, obviously, like anything worth having. Thank you guys for coming along this journey with me. You already know we are doing the work putting the actual you know, effort behind our goals, like all the goals that I talked about in uh, my goals video. Um, I love that I get to like bring you guys along and actually journey with you guys. And you know, 2024 is the year of effort and bringing those goals into fruition. You need to subscribe if you haven't already because obviously we got much more to come. We're almost at 700. So if you're subscribed, shout out to you. I will see you guys in my next one.